Hmm. So I actually have a very good reason or very good reasons for not taking down my hair since or not making my hair since December 15th. Okay. I have very good reasons for it. However, if I want to be honest with myself, I feel like the main reason is that I am tired of my hair. I don't really care about my hair. I, I, to be honest, I just want to cut my hair. I wish I could just scrape everything off, like just get a clipper and scrape my hair off. But I also know that my hair is not really, really the problem. Okay, the problem is that there are so many things going on in my life that my hair just feels like one extra thing I have to deal with. Okay, so cutting my hair is not going to solve my problems. I feel like I'm just taking out my frustration on something else. <laughs> you know, like I'm, I'm making my hair the fall guy, but it's not really the, the real issue there. So there are so many things in my life that I need to get together. And if I get those things together, I will enjoy and actually appreciate my hair. Does that make sense? Anyway, so yes, this is the hair I have carried for the last four months. I have washed my hair in this state. Like I've even treated my hair in this state. I heard that using, cause I have, um, I don't know if it is the one they call something, something dermatitis, sebharomic, <laughs> I don't know. Is that, is either I have that or like serious case of dandruff. Is either I have that or I have psoriasis. So one of the major reasons why I feel that it is psoriasis is that it is not about whether my hair is clean or not. Like I could wash my hair today and by next tomorrow, my scalp is inflamed, my scalp is peeling very dry, you see white substance all over my, like not even white substance, like when I look at it, you can see that it is my scalp that actually lifted. Okay, so it always looks like I have dandruff or like my hair is dirty, even though my hair is not dirty. Okay, so I read somewhere that glycolic acid helps. So I put glycolic acid, like I also, I also use, um, there's this shampoo I use, one Ketrazone shampoo. I forgot the name of that shampoo now. Nizoral, yeah. So I use Nizoral shampoo, right? And when I use Nizoral shampoo and I don't apply any oils to my scalp, it tends to alleviate the symptoms for a few days, for a few days longer than normal, right? So when I heard about the glycolic acid, I tried using glycolic acid and I don't know if it is my mind, but I feel like it worked. I feel like my scalp was clean for a few days. Even though I wash my hair very often, like some days when I'm just stressed out, I just enter the shower and just pour water from head to toe and then I use the shampoo to wash my hair. So that has been part of the reason why I haven't losing my hair because I just wash it in this state and after washing it, I don't have to deal with the tangling and making and all of that, okay? But I mean, it don't pass now, like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's enough. So this is what my hair looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it well, but the hair this my hair was short you guys i cut my hair last year so my hair is actually short but this from here to here is actually the new growth but the hair is very 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 tangled some people feel like you know when you leave your hair your hair will grow like if you leave your hair for six months your hair will grow yes your hair will always grow even if you're not even if you're um even if you're making your hair every two days your hair will grow the only thing is that you're not going to retain length okay so i'm pretty much not going to retain a lot of the length that i i i you know grew in the past few months i don't care like i said i'm not trying to grow long hair but i need to just take down my hair so that i can make you know make it again like make cornrows i hope i'll have the time and the energy because i really don't but i just hope i'll, I'll try and see if i can get the time and energy anyway this is what i am going to be using to take down my hair this is apple cider vinegar water and olive oil the olive oil doesn't really mix but i just when i want to spray it i shake 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 very well then spray and just use it right i got this recipe a long time ago maybe like six years ago or something and i use it okay i don't care about whether it is ph balanced or it is good for you i don't care it works very well it really helps my it gives me that sleep that helps my hair to get detangled easily so that's what i'm going to be using I'm also going to be watching movies or series. My kids are at home, even though Cor um, Eva and Sophia are sleeping. Cora is walking up and down. So, and this is just this is nine o'clock. Oh. My kids are still sleeping because they slept late. They were watching movies. Yeah, so I think I'm set to have a few hours 
to take down my hair yeah because i've prepared breakfast for them lunch is also set so i'm good i'm just gonna go ahead now and start taking down the hair okay trust me all this talk i'm talking is just reluctance <laughs> i'm reluctant i'm tired but part of the reason why i got to this level is that i don't have anybody to help me um yeah if i had a natural hair salon around i would have totally gone there since but I, I couldn't find anyone so like people that are good with natural hair i couldn't find anyone so yeah i just have to carry my cross and do my thing by myself mm, the hair is so dry because of that shampoo i don't think i'll use that shampoo today i'll use a regular shampoo and just add glycolic acid later on because this hair is so dry It feels like this thing is not even doing anything. It feels like I'm taking down <laughs> I'm taking down dreadlocks. That's what it feels like. It feels like I have dreadlocks and I'm trying to take it down. What? I shall start from the back. I don't know why I'm doing this one first, but let's just see what we are working with. I think I'm going to do clay mask. I'm going to use clay um clay wash. Is it clay wash? Like I'm going to use um bentonite clay to wash the hair. Uh, I think that would be the best bet for this hair now. If you have my hair texture, let me know what you think. What, what is my core pattern? Because when I see some people that say that they are 4C, I'm like, hey, if you are 4C, then me, I'm 4Z. Like, I, I don't have, I, I have, I feel like I have what they call true 4C hair. But let me know what you guys think. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly. Hey girl, I'm just trying to remove all the shed hair because it's that shed hair that will actually damage the hair very well. If you allow the shed hair to be there and then you're just combing everything anyhow or washing it anyhow to tangle even further. So I have to try and get all the shed hair out. It's not gonna be easy, but I'm ready today. I'm ready. My husband was supposed to help me losing this hair. If he comes back early today, he will, he will still help me. That if I'm not done by the time he's back. But I think I should be done. Because it's just 9 a.m. Past 9. Shouldn't I just carry a clip and cut this hair off? Eh? Why am I going through this now? What the hell? Why am I going through this? I don't really need, I don't need this in my life. Eh? Don't. don't. <laughs> this is just one. <laughs> I've never finished taking that one. At least I'm already tired. Ah, this thing makes a world of difference. Let me know if you guys know any other detangler that works as well as this, this detangler because it makes a world of difference. Another thing I notice is that whenever I get stressed, I just lose my front hair here on both sides. Though. You guys might not even see it well. I think you can see it on this side. You won't believe that as at last week or two weeks ago, let me say two weeks ago, Sha, this hair was was full like here it was full everywhere was full everywhere was like you could see hair everywhere here everywhere here it was just full the way this other part is only for a space of how many days it was almost as if something just went and just chopped all the hair off i think i had so many things during that period i wasn't really sleeping well everything just chopped off like almost overnight it was so bizarre like so weird but it is what it is my dear it is what it is oh. So, so what is it? See? Oh, it's like serious heavy rain wants to follow. Can you see it? Mm. Serious heavy rain. Thank God I'm not filming today. Uh -huh, baby, what do you say? What is it? So to to make us be ent entertained, let's do a um crafting club. Okay? Sophia, come, let's do a crafting club. You can play with dolls, you can craft anything. Sophia, come. Okay, we'll craft for dolls. Sophia, come. Mommy. So why did Sophia run into this place now? Well, I don't understand. I so I said, Sophia. So the first time that she woke up, she said, Oh, I want to learn. Now I'm teaching her something. She says, Okay, I don't want to learn again. I stopped teaching. Then when I said it's time to play, she just left. She started running away. Sophia, <laughs> so so. Well, is it okay if I can take scissors? From where? Your room. So you don't do what? To craft for adults. So that you people will now cut things everywhere. Ah, see my hair is so tangled. What if we like took like? 
What if we took my What if we took my dustbin close to the place? What is it? What is it? Hmm? What's tickling you? Your hair? Sophia, mm. Sophia, Mommy. what do you want? Say, tell me what you want now because I will soon push everybody away from here. So, I am done with one and <laughs> one coral. My hair has actually grown now because I cut this hair last year. Last year, what? This is all the shedding I got from one coral. In fact, one half coral because I'm not losing this down part. <laughs> Even though I don't mind because this is like four months of shedding that you know that I'm just bringing out. I need to keep my ends stretched. I don't know how I'm going to do it now. But I need to keep this end stretched. Let me pinch it. Let me pin it on this side. So one down, plenty more to go. Hmm, you guys, the time is just 11 o'clock and this is only what this is all I have done. Okay, just in two hours or let's just say one hour 30 minutes, I've only done this. <laughs> and when this lady was making my hair, I remember telling her that this thing was too tiny because I knew I was going to be the one that would have to lose it. I told her the hair was too tiny. She was like, eh, hey, let it be neat, let it be neat. Now, see what I'm going through here. <sighs> anyway, I'm enjoying the podcast I'm listening to. I'm listening to Joe Rogan. So, at least, let me enjoy that one first. I'll also see if I can find a movie. I don't think I'm even so comfortable on this seat. But I don't want to use my office seat because it's, it's um, fabric and I don't want any of these things to enter the fabric. So, I'm using like a plastic chair so i'm not so comfortable but we'll manage you guys seriously this feels like taking down dreads i'm not taking down dreads before but i've seen people take down dreads and what i'm doing is exactly what they do just to minimize the damage and to minimize because I, I could actually just losing it and just use comb and comb the hell out of it but just to minimize the damage and the pain because my scalp pains me a lot and it gets inflamed a lot so that's why i'm taking my time anyway how am I supposed to do this? I feel like just ripping everything off, to be honest. I feel like just ripping everything off. But I noticed that the hair at the back of my head is so tangled. All the hair here was actually very easy to lose, which I was even saying was going to be the opposite initially. But all the hair around here, around the perimeters, which is where I have friction most times from sleeping, from wearing wigs and stuff like that, those parts are so tangled, you guys. It's 5 p.m. you guys. It's 5 p.m. <gasps> I've not even prepared dinner. Oh, my husband will eat in the meal. Or should I order something? Okay, oh, you guys, it has been a long time since I did this treatment, like long time, I think like three years ago or something, or even four years ago, that I did this clay mask treatment. But yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what my hair will look like after I am done. Um, I feel like I did a good job losing the hair and my hair has grown which I am happy about but I lost a lot of hair I already trashed the hair before I remember that I should have shown you guys how much hair I lost granted it is four months worth of 
um, shed hair, but there was a lot of um, damaged hair there as well because I was like, at some point I was combing off the tank because I just couldn't, I couldn't, man. I'm like, I beg, I beg, I beg. So I had a lot of damaged hair. So I know that at the beginning of this video, I was saying that I don't really care about the health of my hair. However, now that I'm finished losing the hair, <laughs> now that I, I now I, I, I'm now seeing root, I now want to care for my hair and just see how much progress I can make in the next one year. But I'm definitely, definitely not going to be manipulating this hair that much, and I don't even have the time for it. So what I'm going to do? So this is the clay I'm just adding. I don't know why this clay looks like this. I'm used to Aztec clay. I'm very, very used to Aztec clay, but I saw this one on Amazon and it was cheaper than Aztec clay. So I now bought this one. But now I'm asking myself, well, why do? I should have just bought the one that I'm used to. Or I don't know this one. Even the color looks different. Or is this how Aztec clay used to look? I thought Aztec clay used to be whiter. This one looks brown. This one is almost like that disappeared. So I'm not going to put so much here first. I'm just going to apply it all over my scalp all over my hair then if it is left whatever is left i'll now go back in again yeah so i don't finish all of them in the front and then start scraping the container for the back you guys i always go back and forth wondering which hair length is easier to manage on the one hand i feel like shorter hair length is easier to manipulate it's easier to make like if you want to make your hair if your hair is shorter it's easier to make you know like the length of my hair right now is actually easy to make when you want to make it it's not much tangles when you are trying to make it or we actually weaving actually weaving braiding you know it's easier when the hair is shorter because you just put comb and just drag it but when your hair is long you have to put comb and be doing this small 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 if not it's a pain especially for people like me that have strong hair and sensitive scalp right however at the same time i feel like I feel like if your hair is longer, you can put your hair in smaller, in bigger sections. So you can just have like four sections for your hair. And also, it will be easier to um, style. I feel like longer hair is easier to style. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I've never had like super, super long hair. I think the longest I've had is shoulder length, even when I was natural. Although I was natural for too long though. So I, don't, I can't tell which one is easier to, man, to manage, whether it's long hair or short hair. But I feel like if this my hair now was long, I could have just easily washed it in four sections. By the way, the time now is past 10 because after I finished losing my hair, I had to go downstairs, clean the kitchen, reset the kitchen, bring out tomorrow's food and put into the fridge. So if I have... Um, food in the freezer that will eat the next day. I usually bring it out and put it in the fridge because I don't have a microwave. I don't even intend to get one. So I use pots to microwave basically everything. But now I use the air fryer for things like chicken. But I use the pots, I use my pots to microwave to warm almost everything. So I need the food to be defrosted before I go ahead and warm it. My scalp is going to pain me. I'm already paining myself. No. My scalp might get inflamed tomorrow. God, I beg go. Because that's how fast it happens for me. If I manipulate this hair too much today and it starts paining me, by tomorrow or next tomorrow, you will just see my whole scalp will become white. Mind you, with all the hair loss I've experienced in the past few days, I still have a lot of hair on my head. So I just need to take care of the hair. That's that's all it means. Okay, so I am done washing my hair. I really, really wash the hair very well because that clay sometimes you're not careful it will remain on your hair. Then I went ahead to add some conditioner, even though my hair was already very soft, but I just added some conditioner to just kind of co-wash it so that I'm sure that all the clay is out of my hair. So now I'm going to moisturize my hair i'm not going to use much because of my scalp so i try to avoid too many products that can irritate my scalp so i'm just going to use water first so this is filtered water um yeah like our drinking water that is filtered 
because the water here is very very hard the water here is very hard and very very annoying like if you just located in the uk or some of these countries and you are experiencing skin issues and hair issues is the water trust me then i'm adding vegetable glycerin yeah so i'm adding just a little bit of vegetable glycerin it's just to help the hair stay moisturized then i'm also adding some aloe vera because that's aloe vera juice when i was in nigeria i used to use like fresh aloe vera from my farm oh, i miss my farm so this is the aloe vera gel that i bought i just went off amazon i went to amazon and just checked and you know this one had good reviews so i bought it i'll add some aloe vera gel okay this looks like real aloe vera it looks like real aloe vera so i added some aloe vera gel let me just top up with some water again because i don't want this mixture to be too thick i want it to come out like actual water so that is my mixture you can add oil to it if you want but there's no point you can actually just use this and then add oil separately i'm not going to be using oil i'm going to be using um, shea butter to just lock in the moisture so i'll spray this on my hair you know detangle finger detangle it make sure to make sure i work the product into my hair very well and then i'll just use shea butter to um towards what to see this in you because i'm so tired this is already past 11 i think this is even 12 o'clock or something but i must finish this hair business today i don't want to carry it into tomorrow i'm going to conroll just here i'm not even going too deep i'll just conroll this one just a little bit then after conrolling it i'll just detangle the back and just you know twist it back and then i want to make my hair i'll just wear my wig cap or whatever because i can't i can't do this anymore like i can't do this twice in, in, in fact in a month i can't even do this twice in, in two months so that is what i'm going to do let me go back to my office where i was doing it so I, i'm watching something while doing it then when i'm done i'll clean up everywhere then go and sleep maybe by 2 a.m again my wristwatch is going to <laughs> complain because i use um i always wear my samsung watch and it always tells me that my sleep is inconsistent or i'm sleeping too late and i'm like organize your business are you gonna do the work for me? Will Samsung send somebody to my house to come and do the work for me so I can go and sleep? No, then. <laughs> I'm going to be using this whipped shea butter from Blissy Coconut. I bought it when I was coming to the UK. So I have one tub that is just for our hair. That's me and the kids, we use it. Everybody actually. We just use this one for our hair. Then I have other ones that we use for our body. Okay, so my hair feels soft. My hair actually feels soft. Um, I don't know if I should just add the leave-in conditioner now. I bought some things from Sephora and then I got this gift bag that had different things inside. Let me see if they have a leave-in conditioner. Deep conditioning treatments. Because I saw one Olaplex treatment here. I even took one shampoo from here. I, don't know, I can't remember the name of the product. I used one shampoo from here and conditioner to wash Sophia's hair and Sophia's hair really responded well to it. I was like, okay, let's see. This shampoo and conditioner. I need living living conditioner. Suitable for all hair types. Moisture, shine, smoothness, definition, softness, light hold, humidity. I go use Anjo. I go use and what's the worst that can happen? They wrote all hair types. It feels very lightweight. It feels like a I don't even know how to describe it. It has a nice smell. I'm not going to use a brush or a comb or anything because my scalp is even paining me. My scalp is really, really paining me. I'll apply glycolic acid when I'm done. I'll apply it to my scalp. Let's see how long it takes before my scalp gets flaky. I think this would be a very good test. Or maybe I should just wait a few days since I use the bentonite clay. Let me know what the bentonite clay one itself has done for my hair. Yeah, so 